Did you miss me? Did you miss Moa? Did you miss Ay 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 Ay? Did you miss our right, stop stop? Alright guys, start from Tower Artist Movie here and today I'm gonna be answering your question again. <laughs> Alright, so today's question. Dear Tara Arts, well, hello. What is Action Essentials 2 and where can I get it? Alright, so here we are. Already got Action Essentials 2 DVD and inside it you will have Oh, two DVDs and each DVD you got two sides so it's like you having four DVD actually and uh, it's basically a action stock footage so it's a product from videocopilot.net so yeah it's action stock footage so we, you will get like fire muzzle flashes like woo, like explosion and by the way if you haven't realized yet the um, cowboy video you just saw at the beginning uh, at the end of the clip i put some smoke from action essentials 2 to get this smoke effect so and today i'm gonna be teaching you how i did that so here's the tutorial blah, 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 blah. all right guys so here we are in after effects first thing first we're gonna import our footage click and drag it to after effects just like so boom or you can just file import file it will be the same or just double click right here and import your footage it will be the same and next we create a new composition by click and drag your footage to the big area over here or to this small thingy over here boom you just create a new composition based on your footage so the frame rate and everything is already match your uh footage so uh next we get a ram preview click ram preview here and uh, basically it will render your video inside after effects first so next you will not have a choppy preview if you want to preview your footage so now as you see here if you scroll through here you won't have a choppy preview next i'm just gonna delete the beginning of the part of the video because i'm just gonna want to i just want to start uh tracking points from this uh, uh part over here so i'm just gonna move the work area start to to here or just move your time timeline to whatever you want it and then basically just click b to make the beginning of the uh, work area to go to your whatever your timeline is or click m to make your end of your work area to to go to where your timeline is but for me i'm just gonna need 
to move the um, beginning of the area so B and then right click on the work area here right click trim come to work area boom you will have your footage now has been cut all right so uh, next we're gonna import our smoke because as you can see here on the beginning of the tutorial the video you can you can see the smoke coming out from this guy's pocket so that's the effect that we're going to do now so we're gonna go to action essentials to stock footage so as you can see here this is action essentials 2 you got a lot of stock footage you got explosions my my favorite you got a car bomb boom woo, look at that and explosion woo i use this a lot on my movies and then Today we're gonna use smoke charges. We're gonna use smoke charge number nine. So it's like poof, like this. Oh, look at that, cute smoke, cute smoke. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna click and drag it to After Effects, like so. But we have a problem. If we just click and drag it, oops, sorry. Uh, if we click and drag it to After Effects, just like so. If we play this video, as you can see here. The smoke looks really retarded. It's not like it's coming from the pocket. It's not like it's uh, stay from this pocket uh, position. It, be, uh, basically, it's just like uh, following your camera movement because we haven't tracked it yet. So today we are going to learn how to track and mask. So it will uh, looks like the smoke coming out from uh, this guy's pocket. Oh, anyway, now we're just gonna uh, delay this smoke uh, first because first thing we're gonna do we're gonna track the footage first we're gonna track ramp preview, preview it again by the way to make it smooth all right so now we're gonna use a tracker make sure you uh, move your time on from from beginning here and we're gonna use a tracker effect if you don't have this on your after effects you can go to window and click tracker all right you will find this tracker effects or just you uh, just go to um effects and presets tab right here and type in tracker and you will have uh oh nope i think you you won't have it so <laughs> just go to tracker or window tracker all right so click your footage and go to track motion after you click that you will have this um tracking points and uh to square which is the tracking area so by the way to move to zoom in your mouse you just scroll your mouse up and to move like this you just click the middle scroll mouse and then move it around instead you go to hand tool just click the middle scroll and hold it and move it around all right so we're gonna move it to the most contrast contrast area of the scene so as you can see here the gun here is kind of shiny gray light gray so the contrast will be of course the black area here so we're gonna track that and we're gonna click and hold the small box here and make it bigger so we're gonna make a bigger tracking um point so the bigger the better so um uh, the bigger the tracking point is gonna make your uh after effects uh track it slower but the bigger is gonna have a better um understanding to uh, of after effects to track your footage so the bigger the better so we're gonna change it to fit up to 100 percent again and then next we gonna create a layer new null object so what is null object well after we track our footage we will have a bunch of tracking points and then after that we're gonna export the tracking points to the null object so basically we need the null object to just um uh to place the the, the, the the tracking points data all right so uh make sure you move your timeline to the beginning of this video and make sure the edit target of this tracker here to null make sure it's null as you can see here null one is the name of our null okay and now you make sure you click the footage and we're gonna analyze forward now as you can see after effects is tracking this gun right here so the tracking points is like stick to the gun which is what we want it's great so that's it all we gotta do now is wait and waiting sucks maybe i'm just gonna sing all right let's just stop singing sucks <laughs> i can sing that well it's jolly I'm just kidding. I'm 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 an I'm an opera singer. If you guys know, but 
Anyway, we're not gonna talk about that. So, <laughs> excuse me, here is tracking. Mm -mm. Well, um, while waiting, you guys can just grab some popcorn or whatever. And for me here, I'm just gonna play my PS Vita, PlayStation Vita. An amazing console with uh, not so much game here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play. Oh dear lord. As you can see here, it takes kinda long time, but hey, it's uh, it's gonna give you a better result. Because you, I make it like a bigger um, tracking points. I don't want to skip this video by the way because uh, if you're a beginner in this After Effects so you will understand uh, how it's how it works all right so there you go it's already done by the way it's already done so as you can see here there you go if you fail at this sometimes it the tracking points like ooh jibbing around so, uh, <laughs> it, it's failing maybe because uh, first the footage is not that good it's too much uh, movement it's too much motion blur or the camera is not that good that happens sometimes so you are just gonna have to use the other tracking program so after effects tracking points is just for well um, to track a basically not that heavy um, kinda lots of movement like lots of I hope you understand why my English is not that good. So basically this tracking uh motion here in After Effects just for little things like this. So anyway, we already ha uh, have tracked this footage right here. Next we gonna make sure the edit target is still null. Yeah, okay, and we're gonna click apply. So basically click OK. Basically you just apply the data to null object. We're gonna close this and as you can see if you click the null you can see this red box right here already stick to the gun which is really really good because that's all you want but we we don't we don't want to render this uh, null so we're just gonna shut this looks uh, little thing it looks like I here to turn off the null object but the data is still there don't worry so next we gotta track our smoke alright the smoke here click and drag it to our footage Right, so as you can see here, still looks retarded because we haven't tracked it. Uh, we haven't um, parent it to the null object, and then we're just gonna move it right here. I want to. Well, I want it to start from here, and then click S and scale it up to make it bigger, and move it like so to the pocket right here. So that looks really good. All right, maybe a little bit bigger, just like so. I want it to place here. So we got two problem now, three actually. The first problem it's still not uh, uh, following the gun. Problem two, the smoke it looks retarded, not really like it's on the scene. Problem three, it's not like it's coming out from the pocket. So we gotta mask it later. All right, first thing first, we're gonna make it follow the gun. So as you can see here, parent, and be below parent you will find this circle thingy right here and on the smoke charge by the way circle thingy so click and hold it and drag it to the null so that means is uh, as you can see here the parent is changing to no one so basically it's just following the null or you just can uh, open the triangle here and choose whatever you want to uh, follow so we're gonna follow the null because the tracking data is on the null so, or just click and parent it to the null it will be the same all right so now if we scrub through as you can see here the smoke is already like it's there it's not following the camera movement instead they're following the um, gun right there so that is really really good next we're gonna make the smoke looks better um, so it the most is uh, just blend to the, uh, the composition right here so what are we gonna do if you are on this area here the 3d the everything you just gonna toggle switch so you will have this normal and everything to change the uh, screen mode so we're gonna change from normal to for me lighten yeah for me as you can see here this is the normal not look so realistic but if we change it to lighten it will look so much better all right the the last problem here we want to make this smoke coming out from the pocket so all we're gonna do we're gonna cut the smoke we're gonna cut the uh, 
the bottom area for the smoke here so it will look like it's coming from the pocket and we're gonna use a pen tool so pen tool as it says a pen uh, so it looks like a pen on the picture right here but i want you to imagine it like it's a scissor so basically it will cut everything so make sure you click the smoke charge here because we're gonna, we want to cut the smoke charge here and maybe you can um uh, the opacity here uh, by open up the transform the triangle here and turn the opacity down to zero so basically you just want to cut the um pocket area of this guy here so click and click and hold and drag it if you want to make a curve a uh, line click click and click 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 and close it just like so so um, if we bring back the opacity to 100 as you can see here instead of we cut um, and remove this area we just cut and remove this area so to do the opposite uh, exactly the opposite all you only gonna do as you can see here after we close the mask we create mask right here so open it up and change from add by click the triangle here to subtract so it will do the exact opposite uh, thing so as you can see here it's already looks really good so we're gonna change it back to uh, selection tool here and click anywhere and as you can see here it's already looks like it's coming from the pocket so Actually, we already finished here. We're gonna ramp preview it. We're gonna change it to fit up to 100%. We're gonna ramp preview it. As you can see here now, the smoke is already following the pocket and it already looks really good. And there you go. That's how you track and that's how you mask your footage, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, guys. So, for another tutorial, um, I'm gonna be uploading more tutorial about masking, rotoscoping, uh, and uh, well, basically lots of tutorial in my channel. So make sure you subscribe and see ya. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Alright, guys. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and subscribe to my channel, like our Facebook page on the description below the link, and uh, yeah, see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao.